Welcome to the first video using artist trading cards. With this video, we'll be drawing three different sea life characters and painting them onto the cards. So I hope you're able to send them to family and friends. Artist trading cards measure three and a half by two and a half inches, and you can use any paper that you have. Uh, I like to use a mixed media paper, such as something that can take watercolor and other types of paints. And the materials that you'll need today, a towel, a Sharpie or another marker that doesn't bleed, your blank paper, fresh water brush, and your watercolor set. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna draw a seahorse and we can call him Neptune or you can give him your own name. We're gonna start and make just a shape that kind of goes down like this. And then curl it into a spiral. So notice that I fit the, the, the top of the head and the tail with uh, leaving some room at the top and leaving some room at the bottom. Next thing you're going to go up here to the head. Kind of add on a little snout like that. Now if any time you need to stop the video and, and catch up with me, feel free. That's the nice thing about having the video. Okay, so now it's starting to look like something. Let's go underneath the head here, come out here, and then come back this way. So we have something that looks like a like a seahorse. Um, yours might be taller or wider. That's good. This is the first seahorse that we've drawn together. So we're good. Please remember to draw with whisper lines. So that's Easier to erase those pencils, uh, pencil lines if you choose. All right, little eye, little mouth. We'll put some little texture lines in there. Continue those all the way around. Now you're gonna come back with your Sharpie. And I like to use Sharpie because then I it won't um, smear when I paint. So if you look at the writing on your marker, it should say if it's non-smearing or indelible ink. No. As you're taking the Sharpie over, you can always make little changes. Say I wanted to make it a little more like rounded, a little bit bigger, you can do that. And maybe if I wanted to change and maybe make that longer, now's the time to do it with the Sharpie. Okay. Go back with your eraser. Quickly erase that out. Okay. All right, you're ready to paint this up. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, make a combination of like an orangey brown. So remember to take your pure color and put it into the painting tray like that. Wash it, wash it. Uh, take some of that water off. If you wanted to make the orange more yellow, you could add... Ooh, well, I kind of like that. I'm going to go with that. So it went kind of fast. I got a lot of water out there. I'm going to kind of drag that water down. And use some of that pink color up. The trading cards are quite small, so you might want to use a smaller brush, which, if you have one. If not, this is a great skill. Notice that I'm holding the card with my, my left hand and painting with my right hand, because I am right-handed. I did, I switched to a smaller brush there. Oh, 
holding it down so I don't accidentally scoot it or cause some big smear. I did have one little mistake of a smear in there. I think I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Now, um, before we do the back, Polinsky's animal, I think from Siberia. And it's prized for its uh, hair that works great with brushes. All right, I think I'm okay with that one. So let's separate it. I know I'm going pretty fast. I probably could be a little more careful too. Um, feel free to, to stop the video for a while and just finish your background or whatever you're working on, and then you can come back to it. I'm thinking each card will take you 20 minutes. And we're doing three cards. So that would be 60 minutes. One of the nice things about doing a, all three of these cards, kind of sea life, is I have the color sort already mixed over here and I can just go in and grab them. Alright, let's let that dry. 